everybody! So today I'm in my living room rather than in there. The logistics of the room wasn't working. I was gonna do it on the floor, my video, but um, I can't. So I'm in my living room. <laughs> All black, so that's why it looks a bit dark and dismal because that's what I like. I like dark and dismal things, but my office is like marshmallow land. Two conflicting personalities. It's really frustrating sometimes. So today I'm going to be doing a very special little haul featuring a very special little guest. I would like to welcome Lola Chops! All right, so this is Lola. She is my dog. She is a, you're three quarter dachshund, aren't you? So you're three quarter sausage dog. So you're long like a sausage, but you've got long legs. That's true, isn't it? Anyway, we are going to be doing a Christmas haul. So um, I've got some stuff for you from Pets at Home. And I'm gonna be showing everybody what I've got. Is that cool? Is that right? Shall we start the haul? No, yeah, yeah, we can kiss later if you want. This is the most ridiculous thing. This is a Santa harness. So basically it's a harness for your dog, yeah, for you, and it's got Santa Claus riding on the back of it. And the idea is that you, you tie it to your dog. Do you feel like you can deliver the presents on time? Because he's relying on you. I know some of you are thinking, man, this is incredibly cruel. But you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. This is a disclaimer. I know so many people that have dogs, the dogs just really don't give a shit that they've got stuff on. In fact, she likes wearing jumpers. Don't you? Because it keeps her warm, because she gets really cold. But I know this isn't a jumper, this is just for fun. But she doesn't even care, look. You're, you're, you're rocking it. Now this is a little winter coat, and we have been wearing this quite a lot recently. And it is so, so lovely. And she, she looks adorable in it, and it's got a nice fleece inside. So on those cold walks, this is beautiful. And it looks, and it just looks so cool. Some dog coats can look a bit old granny. So next is a Christmas jumper, and this is a snowman. Little groovy snowman. It's quite big, this. Big bits for the legs, and obviously it's sort of cut for their, for when they go to the toilet. But I love that. They always do a really cute Christmas jumpers. Um, that's that one. Next is another ridiculous thing, and this is a Christmas pudding costume. Again, completely adorable and stupid, and if you have a small dog, you understand how much you would love to wrap them up in a Christmas pudding. But it looks so, so cute, and it's great for, I don't know, she could wear it on a walk, or she could just wear it on Christmas Day, around the house, looking all festive, or the build up to Christmas. Next we have a Christmas themed toy, and this is a Little reindeer. Do you want him? He's just got little rubber feet as well, so they could chew on them. It's always great when you've got different things that they can, like different textures, because they kind of get bored of one section and move on to the next, but that's squeaky. Ooh! Another Christmas themed toy is this ball. And, oh, we squeak, and he's a snowman. Lola absolutely goes batshit for balls, like every kind. And sometimes she has more than one ball on the go, and she just doesn't know what to do with herself. But we got this little ball here. Isn't he cool? Oh, thanks babe. Next is something really silly and this is two Christmas pudding treats for dogs and look how adorable they are. Um, I don't know what the verdict of these will be but hopefully she will like them. Some dog treats she's quite picky with but I thought that that was really sweet so I'll give her one of those and see what she thinks. Next isn't Christmas related, but I thought it was such a brilliant idea. Oh, you like this? This is a squeaky toy that turns off. So, that squeaks, but then it's got a switch. Anyone else that has small dogs or any kind of dogs, when they have a squeaky toy, and that's all you can hear all day long. It gets annoying. And also Kong makes really, really great toys. They're really super tough. She's had her Kong since she was, I first got her, so that's well over a year now, and she loves it, and she's, the good thing about them is sometimes when you throw them, like the, the original Shape Kong, is that they, they don't bounce in a pic, they just bounce everywhere because they're a weird shape. We also got a glow in the dark ball. I just thought that was a bit of fun. So it lights up on impact. <gasps> Whoa! You're gonna go crazy for that stuff. Easy to find in the dark. So we, when we take her for a walk, we sometimes take a ball with us and we have like a bag of tennis balls because we always end up losing them in the park. So this is a really great thing. So we can play ball and we won't lose it. And to go with the ball theme, we got some ball shaped treats and they're made with real chicken. So basically the idea of this is it's a chew, it's a chew, to, it's a ball which you throw around, but inside are like these little bits of chicken. 
like real chicken treats and the outside's made of like chicken and vegetables but inside is like proper chicken. I've recently been a bit more picky with what I've been feeding her purely because when I went into pets at home I'm always in there because it was like around the corner and from my house. I was buying more food and I did ask them. I've been buying pedigree and I was asking them their advice on what I should actually give her because I was looking at the, the quantities of what's actually in it. <laughs> Sorry pedigree but it's really bad. Basically the McDonald's of the dog food industry because in order to class something as a certain food for example Chicken, it only has to have 4% chicken in it for it to be classed as chicken flavoured. If you look, like on the back of things, it'll say like chicken flavoured, but it'll only have 4% chicken and then the rest of it is just literally shit. Like, you don't know what's what it is. It could be any off cut meat. I've been really kind of conscious on what to give her. So I got some really, really good, it's, it is more expensive, but at the end of the day, your dog is like really important. So I've been feeding her dog food that's like 80% beef. Then like, it's got chicken and vegetables and like good stuff, really good stuff. So I also got these Arden Grage Nutrition Without Compromise treats. They're crunchy bites. So it is kind of, you know, a bit nicer, if you know what I mean. But that's it, though. That's all I bought for you. Is that okay? Are we loving the Christmas vibes? I love her so much. I do, I love you so much. So that's it. So if you have a small dog, or if you have any pets or anything, then... <laughs> Don't forget that they want to get festive too. I've, I've wanted to do a Lola haul for ages because I just love spoiling her. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. If you got offended by me putting her in clothes or against it, each their own. I don't have a problem with it because I know that. I know the costume stuff is stupid and I know that. But the clothes, I think sh if she's outside and she's shivering, I know that she needs something to wear. If you're against that kind of stuff, then fair enough. Don't slate me for liking it. You know, like I said, each their own. That is it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye. <laughs>